क्वेश्चन टेन हाउ मेनी मोल्स ऑफ जेड एन एफ एस टू होल्ड ट्वाइस कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम टू ग्राम ऑफ जिंक थ्री ग्राम ऑफ आयरन एंड फोर ग्राम ऑफ सल्फर जिंक प्लस आयरन प्लस सल्फर फॉर्मिंग जेड एन एफ एस टू होल्ड ट्वाइस बैलेंसिंग द इक्वेशन coefficient of iron will be 2 and coefficient of sulfur will be 4 weight of zinc 2 g weight of iron 3 g weight of sulfur 4 g now moles of the reactant and product moles of reactant and product moles of zinc will be equal to weight of zinc divided by its atomic weight that is 2 divided by 65.38 and this is equal to 0.0305 moles moles of iron will be weight of iron that is 3 gram divided by its atomic weight that is 56 so number of moles of iron will be 0.0536 moles and moles of sulfur will be weight of sulfur that is 4 gram divided by atomic weight of sulfur that is 32 and this is equal to 0.125 moles let the number of moles of zn fes to hold twice be n the stoichiometric coefficient stoichio metric coefficient the stoichiometric coefficient of zinc is 1 iron is 2 and sulfur is 4 uh, now dividing the number of moles of each of these by their stoichiometric coefficient for zinc it will be 0.0305 divided by 1 which is equal to 0.0305 for iron 0.0536 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.0268 and for sulfur 0.125 divided by 4 which is equal to 0.0312 and for zn fes to hold twice number of moles is n stoichiometric coefficient is 1 so it will be n by 1 now the ratio of the moles of reactant to the stoichiometric coefficient is the least for iron therefore iron is the limiting reagent or the amount of zn fes2 hold twice formed depends upon the moles of iron so we can write moles of iron that is 0.0536 divided by its stoichiometric coefficient that is 2 is equal to moles of zn fes2 whole twice divided by its stoichiometric coefficient that is 1 therefore 0.0536 divided by 2 is equal to n by 1 or solving this we get moles of zn fes2 whole twice is equal to 0.0268 moles 